A bowling alley dating back to the Eisenhower presidency is shutting its doors for good. Village Lanes, a little shoot, is clearing out everything but the memories. And Local 5's John Dommel talked to the owner who reflected on nearly 40 years at the alley. There'll be no more customers. You know, there's... It's sad that you're not going to have what you had. Colleen McMahon's run the place for 39 years. And now it's time to lower the lane sweeps for good. She's been a recovering breast cancer survivor since 2014. And that's when she first put the alley on the market. And I think it kind of took the wind out of my sail as far as keeping this thing running smoothly. I just didn't have that gusto anymore. Those trying to avoid a memory gutter ball are grabbing what they can. Now that stuff's getting torn out and leaving, it kind of bothers me because I'm so used to seeing it in place. Some are even excavating the lanes. She's known them since she was 25 years old, but let's just say she's been sadder. The lanes? You know, I never did bowl go down them. <laughs> the balls, pins, everything that made this a bowling alley is going. But all of the laughs and all of the smiles aren't going anywhere. I hope they have as much memories as I have and that they're all good memories and Again, just I thank them so much for being part of my life. There's a lot of history and a lot of stories. So I asked if she'd share one of her favorites. There's way too many stories I can't tell. <laughs> I could get in trouble. But there's a lot of, I, I, I can't tell. <laughs> Reporting in Little Shoot, John Dommel, Local 5 News. Somehow it's the stories you can't tell that are the best, right? Um, Ellipticon Wood Products, which is right next door, they're planning to buy the village lanes that buy the building for future expansion. That deal is expected to close on Friday.